Hi, this is Chandrasekhar Prabhu once again. In this post, we shall take the basic fight that is happening between the leader of the opposition and government. As you know, the leader of the opposition is none other than former Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis, and the government is headed by none other than Uddhav Balasaheb Thakri. The issue this time is very clearly the benefit that is given to the builders. Let us understand that the Deepak Parikh committee, which was appointed by the government to go into the issues of real estate, especially in the pandemic, gave certain recommendations. One of the recommendation was that the ready reckoner prices should be rationalized, should be reduced. The other recommendation was that all the premiums should be slashed to 50%. The third recommendation was stamp duty should be reduced and all other uh, levies that have been to be paid by the builders to be reduced. Accordingly, the ready reckoner suddenly was reduced, but it was not reduced across the board. Surprisingly enough, the ready reckoner within a particular ward was reduced for some plots and not for the other plots. Several areas you saw that a particular plot of 100 acres, 200 acres, the ready reckoner prices have been reduced drastically. We did a bit of a study and our team studied this entire thing. We found out from the people who are responsible for redu uh, reducing the ready reckoner that, that is being done by an agency based on the transactions that happen in the past one year. One of the beneficiaries is a large business house which normally sponsored cricketing events and the owner of the business house spent a long time in jail. They own a large piece of land, about 150 acres near Goregao. That particular piece of land, the ready reckoner price has been slashed completely by 80%, which means if a ready reckoner price was 100, the prices have been brought down to 80. When we checked with the agencies which are doing the ready reckoner prices or revising the ready reckoner prices, they told us that that is a land where nothing can be built because it is under a no development zone. So a premises, a land which is under development, if the cost is more, a land on which no development can be held, the cost is naturally less. And hence we were trying to revise it only depending on the use of the land all such lands within Mumbai which cannot be developed or cannot be put to any effective use, only such lands we have reduced the ready reckoner prices. For the rest, we have not reduced the ready reckoner prices. Uh, that is the, their contention. That is the contention of the agencies which actually did this ready reckoner decrease. Now, the leader of the opposition says that this decrease in some areas and increase in the other areas has been done indiscriminately with a view to help certain developers or certain landowners or certain companies and this has been done select selectively. That is the view of the leader of the opposition. The government says that we have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the revision of the ready reckoner prices. There is an agency, there is a group of experts, they have certain formulas and they follow the formula and according to the formula, these ready reckoner prices have been revised. The file did not even come to the revenue department in Mantrale. The Mantrale has nothing to do with it. The chief minister's office has nothing to do with it. The cabinet has nothing to do with it. The ready reckoner got revised in its routine course and that the government has nothing to do with it. That's the government stand. You understood the leader of the opposition stand. You understood the government stand. Now what happens is a very interesting thing. 
those areas which were in no development zone are permitted development and if there is development permitted in such areas then the premiums are calculated on the basis of the ready reckoner price so in those areas where the ready reckoner price has been slashed down to 80 percent and then the premium is further slashed to 50 percent that means the builder just has to pay 5 percent of the land price in ready reckoner for the premiums and only those builders on whose lands the ready reckoner prices have been reduced will benefit tremendously the leader of the opposition's contention was such builders will benefit between 2000 and 3000 crores with the combination of the reduction in the ready reckoner price and the reduction in the premium prices however the government stand is again completely clear when the leader of the opposition raised this point the cabinet met and discussed apparently one of the constituents of the three party coalition that rules the state objected to this reduction and so it came back to the cabinet the cabinet discussed the reduction in ready reckoner prices and reduction in premium and the new judgment the, the new decision of the cabinet is very clear the cabinet ruled that the old ready reckoner price for all the lands or the new ready reckoner price which has been reduced the premium shall be charged on the one which is more which means if the premium has to be reduced by 50 percent they will check what is the old price what is the new price if the new price is more, the premium 50% will be charged on the new price. If the old price is more, 50% will be charged on the old price. Which means if the ready reckoner prices have been reduced indiscriminately, the concerned builder will not get any extra benefit other than the 50% reduction. Our objection to 50% reduction is there and, and that says very clearly that the main beneficiaries are the people who are occupying the flats in the cooperative housing society in Mada colonies and the tenants in the old and dilapidated building they do not get anything whereas the builder gets all the benefits that stands funnily enough neither the leader of the opposition nor the government has decided to transfer any of the benefit given to the builder to the real beneficiaries that we are talking about. The fight was whether the builder should get X amount of benefits or less than X amount the benefit. That means both the opposition and the ruling party were fighting on the benefits to be given to builder. Unfortunately, no one was fighting for the benefits to be given to the people for whom this FSI has been increased that the residents of Mumbai. So the builders have in turn stood to benefit. The agreements done by the builders with the residents of Mumbai continue. They have not been asked to change the agreement. So the builder will give only such benefits to the existing tenants or cooperative society as agreed as per the agreement however the builder will get more benefits and the people the residents of Mumbai will suffer I take this opportunity to make an appeal to the government to come forward and ensure that certain section of the benefits that the builders get should also go to those who reside on the lands on which redevelopment should be held. I also urge all of you who are watching this to write to the government saying that sure enough you give benefits to the developers. We are not against it. But when the builder benefits to the tune of 5000 crore 
at least ensure that some portion 50% of it should be transferred to the cooperative housing societies to the mada colonies to the tenants to the slum dwellers or whatever unless these benefits are transferred to the people mumbai should gain let the builders gain let them do their business but when they do their business it should also be ensured is it fair to all concerned and all concerned first involves the residents of mumbai so this is chandrashekar prabhu bidding you au revoir promising the residents of mumbai that here is a forum which will fight for your justified rights we will neither fight on behalf of the opposition nor on behalf of the ruling party we are fighting on your behalf on behalf of the people of mumbai and we shall continue this fight in our posts there will be more posts keep on watching keep on subscribing or our and bye for now